Have you ever dealt with a stubborn oil filter that refuses to come loose? Well, there's a tool here that should make your life a little bit easier. Hey, what's up YouTube down the fix-it man. Got another quick video here for you. Why is it that every time you go to take off an oil filter that was supposedly only hand tight, it seems to be stuck on there with the power of Thor and you need to grab an oil filter wrench to take it off. I was just starting to do an oil change on this 2020 Toyota Corolla and the oil filter is stuck on there pretty good. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to talk about this oil filter wrench that I just picked up. This is from Lyle. This is the 63600 and I was interested in this one because it's slightly different than some of the other oil filter wrenches that I have. Now oil filter wrenches are nothing new and this is a traditional style that a lot of you may have seen and already have and I've got these in several different sizes. Sometimes these are just too big or bulky to get down to the area that you're working and so I like to have some options. Now this is another style of oil filter wrench that I've had ever since I can remember. It says made in Taiwan but I have no idea the brand or anything like that but it's basically just a, a little eccentric cam right there and what this does is just turns and opens and closes on that oil filter. Now I've always liked this one and it usually comes in handy on a lot of the ones that are tight access. Now I like the fact that you can use a standard open end or box end wrench on this on the outside here and you can turn that but I also like that it's driven with the 3H drive ratchet. This right here has actually saved me several times and gotten me out of a few binds. I've even had some friends call me up and say, hey man, my oil filter is stuck and I have nothing that will take it off. But this usually works pretty well. This actually just clamps or crushes down onto the oil filter and spins it loose. This is the replacement oil filter that we're using. This is too small, even at the lowest setting. So this would not work in this case. So really the only option I had was to go back to a traditional, but I saw this one on Amazon. Now this is a similar design, but this has a larger range. This goes from two and a half to three and an eighth, and it's got a spring on the inside. You can see it opens much larger than the other one, and it also goes smaller. You can see if I compare the two right here, the Lyle actually fits inside this even at its smallest jaw opening. And then if we go to the largest opening, this one really doesn't expand much farther, and the Lyle opens all the way up like that. And the thing that I like about this one is it's got a spring that holds this closed on the oil filter while you're using it, which this one I used to have to use kind of two hands. Sometimes you have to position it, hold it on there while you get the uh, ratchet in there. Now this one is only driven with that 3 8 drive ratchet, like so. Looks like it'll work just fine. But more importantly, this one is going to work for us. This is going to fit on our oil filter and it gets a really good grip on there and that's going to break that loose for us. I do like the fact that it's a little bit lower profile than the other one that I had here as well. You can see that it doesn't stick out as far as this one. This one does have the added option of using the wrench on the outside, but uh, I think with a low profile ratchet, we should be just fine. It really doesn't stick out too far. So let's dive underneath here and we'll take off the old oil filter and see how this works. All right, so here's the old oil filter. We'll just slide this one on. Put our ratchet in there and make sure we got our bucket underneath. Piece of cake. And just like that, old oil filter is off. Well, you can see this worked exactly like it was supposed to. It was able to break that oil filter loose and I was able to spin that off the rest of the way by hand. Made in the USA, caution, wear some gloves. I wasn't wearing gloves, but I guess you should. You know, I really do like this one here that I have, but I think I like this one a little bit better. I like the spring mechanism and I also like the fact that it has a bigger range. Now you can see this has really sharp edges here that will grab onto that oil filter, but they won't completely destroy or crush it, which is what you don't want because sometimes you can twist off the outside canister and then you're really stuck with another problem. If you were to try to tighten this, this actually would just open. So you're not going to be able to use this to tighten an oil filter, but you should never use an oil filter wrench. I mean, I've seen people do it. Just never, ever do that. You guys got to stop, stop doing that. Stop using an oil filter wrench to put oil filters on your car. Only use your hands. Once the gasket seats, you should only spin it about another three quarters of a turn and you should be good. And don't forget to rub some new engine oil on the O-ring or the gasket as well. I hope you guys liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. I'll get a link in the description where you can pick up this exact same oil filter wrench as well. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.